Now, now that we have this part, let's bring a couple of elements. Let's bring a background, some clouds, a playground, and some trees. There we go. Perfect. Now we have all the elements in our scene. And if we go to the top view, actually, it's really interesting because we can see that everything is in a 3D space. What that means, remember that as we did it on the storyboard that we were moving the element and, and it was in the right position. We're using the same, exactly the same concept. And actually, say, if I select this tree, I can put the tree here and I can say that I want to have the tree moving forward like that. Let's bring it forward. And as soon as I bring it forward, it begins to be bigger and in front of the other ones or behind all the elements. Is that you can use the whole 3D space and position all the elements. And actually, if we go to the in the perspective view, you can actually see that really we're using a full 3D space to manipulate all the flat elements, right? Then let's go to the camera. Again, we sell, we create a camera node here. We have this camera node, we put it a path, and we say that we want it to have our movement of the camera, let's say a little bit there, and a little bit higher, something like that, a little bit further. Okay, there we go. Then we go to the last frame. And we move our camera far. A little bit. There you go. Something there. And we just position it correctly there. Okay, we have that. We can, we, we can ask the system to have camera mask. There we go. And we can ask the system now to play back that automatically all the multiplane effect, all the pieces get completely calculated by the system. When you are using other technologies, you need to actually manipulate every layer independently for the time because you are scaling it, moving it in the reverse of the camera. Like when you're working with flash, you need to move every layer separately and manipulate the things on the timeline. Here, you are not doing nothing of that. Directly the system is helping you to do all of that hard work for you. Now, now that we have that, Let's say that we arrive here with the camera and we want it to have the velocity. And we want to change the velocity. We want it to have this, the system to go an easy in and an easy out. If you are in flash, you need to redo the camera move again because you need to redo all the layers individually, each one, to have the sense of movement. Here, we can actually just select this, do an easy in, do an easy out, and say play back and actually will apply to all the elements that are referring to that camera. It means that that is an extremely amazing time saver for the production. You can really do adjustments and make sure that you can start doing things. Something that happens is that some, within, sometimes, with this, depending on the tools, if it's too hard to accomplish something, the people start not doing it. Now, with, with so easy to do camera moves in harmony, you can actually start bringing much more cinematic to your scenes and bring more life and quality there.